Welcome to the Need for Excel YouTube channel lesson 16. In this video lesson, I will teach you how to build a sales growth chart which you can use while making sales presentations. Before we start with the lesson, let me quickly demonstrate what we are trying to achieve here. This is a monthly sales chart with the master data on the master sheet. On the top of the sheet, there is a scroll bar with buttons on both ends to move back and forth. The scroll bar is linked to cell A1 on the chart sheet. Try clicking on the button and notice how the value in cell A1 changes. This value further affects the formulas on the master sheet and then the chart reforms itself. So let's try building this from scratch. I'll first delete the chart sheet and the formulas on the master sheet. Insert a new sheet and give it a name. On the master sheet, I already have my data in place. Column A has all the month names and column C has all the sales figures. And in column B, I'll be putting a new formula. Go to the developer tab and insert a scroll bar first. Right click on the scroll bar and select format control. Set the minimum value to 1 for January and maximum value to 12 for December and link the scroll bar to cell A1 on the chart sheet. Try clicking on the buttons and notice how the value in cell A1 changes. On the master sheet, we'll first have to have the serial number for these months. If I try using the month function directly with the text string, it will return an error. Instead of using this text string directly, I'll join it with 1. And then send it down. I'll then use this value inside of the if function. If this value is less than or equal to cell A1 on the chart sheet, use the F4 key to lock it in all directions. What if it's true? I want this value to be displayed. And if it's false, I want NA to be displayed. Double click and send it down. I've used NA for the false argument because NA's do not display on the chart. Let's select the range A1 through B13 and use the short key Alt F1 to insert a default chart. I'll immediately go to the change chart type and change it to a line chart. Click on OK. You can change the formatting, add data labels if you want. Then right click and move the chart on the chart sheet. Resize your scroll bar the way you want it and even your chart. I'll right click and format axis and change the minimum bound to 10 and the maximum bound to 25. Let's click on the button on the scroll bar and see how the chart reforms. I hope my video helped. Thank you. 